So the temporal area is bounded superiorly, as we say, to the temporal crest, uh, medially with the lateral orbital rim, inferiorly with the zygomatic arc, and laterally with the visible hairline. And it is divided into posterior temple, anterior temple, via an imaginary line from the middle of the zygomatic arc. So this is the zygomatic arc. The middle of the zygomatic arc, a line, an imaginary line, will go superiorly up. It will divide the temple into posterior and anterior temples. The aim from the posterior temple is to lift the upper uh, third of the face, middle third of the face, and indirectly the lower uh, third of the face. The aim from injecting the anterior temple is to give a volume to the area and make it more harmonized. So, the first uh, periosteal point is located one centimeter above and one centimeter lateral to the eyebrow tail, which is called the swift point. Always direct your needle perpendicular to the skin and try to stretch the skin upward and backwards. Let the patient to slightly open their mouth to relax the temporalis muscle and inject perpendicularly. Once you inject, you have to touch the bone. If you don't touch the bone, relocate your needle. Aspirate and inject 0 0.3, 0 0.5 or as needed per case. So the second periosteal point will be located in the lower part of the temple. It's at the junction of the lateral orbital rim with the zygomatic arc. We can imagine a circle that has a diameter of two centimeters and you will inject deep to the bone with needle. And again, you have to be perpendicular. So this is the bone and you can feel it. Sometimes you have to go a little bit above or below just to reach the bone. Aspirate and inject. The transfacial plane is better achieved superiorly from the temporal crest because this layer is continuous with the glia of the scalp and the forehead. Once you open an entry point for your cannula, the 22 or 25 gauge cannula, you have to touch the bone. You have to touch it and then you slide your cannula over the bone until you feel a pop. That pop means that you achieved this transfacial layer in your temporal area. Inject slowly in the retrograde fanning technique. Retrograde fanning techniques means that you will cover this area, this area, and this area like a fan. After uh, opening uh, the entry point for your cannula, advance it superiorly and you can appreciate your cannula because you're in the superficial fatty layer. In this transfacial layer, you can't appreciate your cannula because you are a little bit deeper. So advance your cannula superiorly and inject slowly in a retrograde fanning technique. For the MD code, uh, for the temple area, there are two points located, one of them in the anterior temple, the second in the posterior temple. Both of them are achieved via needle and inserted perpendicularly. The first one is near the swift point, the second one is a little bit behind. In this point, plus or minus few millimeters. Most important that you have to put in mind that there is the trion, which is the thinnest point of the temporal bone. At that point, there is a risk of injecting the filler intracranially. So please inject slowly and aspirate always and always. So the trion is located three centimeters lateral and above the lateral canthus. So it's somewhere here. Please inject cautiously in this point.